Could Lyocell, which is sometimes known by one company's brand name for the product as Tencel, be the material of the future? Well, like most things, there are some good points about it and also some downsides to it. And whilst it may not completely replace other materials like cotton, its use is almost certain to become more widespread as time goes on. So what actually is Lyocell? How is it made? And what are the advantages and disadvantages of using it as a material? Well, at the basic level, Lyocell is a fibre made from cellulose, sourced from wood pulp. This means that the raw material is cheap, easy to grow and environmentally friendly. Also, the resulting material made from these fibres can be recycled, incinerated and is also biodegradable. All of which lead many people to promote it as an environmentally sustainable alternative to many both natural and synthetic fibres. In order to convert the wood pulp into fibres, it uses amine oxide, which is a relatively safe chemical, to create a solvent solution from the wood pulp. The lyocell fibres are then spun from the solvent solution and washed to remove any excess solvents. But the real environmental issue comes with dyeing the resultant fibres to produce something which is usable for clothing. This is because it's difficult for the new fibres to actually hold on to any of the normal chemical dyes used. So less environmentally friendly chemicals or treatments are used to fix the colours to the material, which can cause issues if the wearer has a sensitivity to some of these chemicals. However, this also can be found in some other clothing fibres. Now there are two general types of lyocell fibre produced. There are staple fibres, which can be used in things like denim, towels, medical dressings and other materials, not needing a fine texture, making use of the softness and absorbency of the material. The others are filament fibres, which can be used in shirts, underwear, or even added to silk or other materials for a smooth, high quality finish to it. The quality of the fibre does have one problem, and it has small hairs on the surface of the fibres. These may during normal wearing of the clothing, turning to bubbles or pills on the surface of the cloth. This effect, however, can be minimised by the use of an enzyme to weaken or remove these what are known as fibrils. Since this enzyme is also naturally present in the breaking down of leaves and other organic material, it doesn't represent any general environmental concern. Now, lyocell is currently more expensive to produce than the more established fibres, but as the production process becomes more refined and larger amounts are produced, price is likely to be reduced, but there may still be a gap between lyocell and other fibres. There are people championing material as a perfectly environmentally friendly material, and this isn't correct. Lyocell is certainly less damaging than other fibres, but it does use some petrochemicals in the production process, and is actually quite energy intensive to produce, but as an interim measure until we find something better, it does represent a great step forward in material design.